boosters on this one. on this one apparently. No steampunk variants today. I literally gonna ungrey the Sauron. Yeah he'd look better in green. But let us oh no we'll go for the kitty car card back. It's pretty uh, pretty epic. I really like this one. What's up everyone? YDKD what's up Joe what's up macaroni monster This is the deck that I want to try today. Saw it multiple times on Safety Blades Twitter, who hit infinite with this. Elf Brood deck, looks very fun. Pretty cool hybrid of the Sauron Silence archetype and Hit Monkey Bones. The Daredevil card back. Can you still get it even? Or was it just like a beta slash season one thing? Nuketuck, happy, happy Easter to you as well. I'm doing okay. I'm I don't have a lot of time today because uh, my brother is coming over later today. It's actually coming straight from Jordan. Back to Warsaw. He wrote no lockjaw discard to infinite. Congrats! What do you mean not fun? Discard to infinite is always fun and it's pretty gangster. I guess this card should do pretty well on Sinister London. My brother also have a moustache. I think not. At least not this kind of moustache. He sometimes wears like a, you know, like a too weak moustache or whatever. So I have to check if my <laughs> moustache is fine. Um, I wonder if Sinister London is good for our deck. I would say it's a bit of an unfav... Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. I still need to update the deck graphic. Anyway. Um, I would say Sinister London is a bit unfavorable because we have board space issues, but Double Hit Monkey is absolutely cracked. Apart from that, the deck doesn't benefit too much from it. Oh, we're gonna play Sorin anyway, so I'm gonna save a zero. Now it gets interesting. We have Sorin into Moon Girl, which is gonna copy Ebony Mon She Hulk, which is very good. We go Ebony, Ebony, She Hulk, She Hulk. Zero. Seems alright. Then we don't need to sacrifice anything. Right? Am I missing anything? I think that's all we do. Like, it should be pretty good. We're getting 18 plus 14, so like 32 power right and 32 spread across these two locations. Ah, oh, fucking joint controllers, man. Can't wait to get the breed right here. Maybe this time to Munger left. Yeah, especially with the Titania draw.
No, I probably should have sacked the zero on it. Oh. Or well, Widow's Bite. Well, this completely fucks up my Moon Girl. I guess it's not the Bree or Doc Ock, this is still winnable. Could bounce goblins. True. Oh, I'm just realizing now that we're not actually playing bounce. I'm pretty sure the first build of this was playing bounce. Gotta update the title, I guess. Can we win middle and right, a uh, middle and left side? I expect something like a spider woman though, so it gets really, really hard. Nine. Ah, not good enough. Okay, updated the title. What happened? What? Project Pegasus? Okay. Um, uh, uh, uh. So just Angela into Bishop. I think zero now doesn't really make sense. We just curve out into Sorin. That sucks. Let's see if we can find a she hulk or something to play on the left. Or we could also move Bishop over and try to get really large here. But we don't really have the right draws. Let's hope for a she hulk top. Oh, we're getting Galactus middle anyway. Uh, kneel before uh, Galactus. Like, we can't contest the left side, so there's no point in playing anything, even if our opponent doesn't play Galactus. Okay, they completely overkilled the left. So I can play Moon Girl and then I can go Triple Mysterio. Pretty funny. Is this winnable? I'm scared of no. I feel like I should run, but I want to see this. Friendly neighborhood 
Is Zero still activated? Oh shit, in that case we screwed. Okay, Spider-Man also beats us. My bad, I for forgot about Zero here. Wasted the cube to a filthy Galactus enjoyer. Escaped. What's up, Boosty? Next card, Zero. Yeah, yeah, completely forgot about it. Slipped in me mind. Oh, deck image is wrong. Right, right, right. What's a cool deck name? What's up, PK? Copycat? Although we're playing a monkey. Do we have any cats in this? We don't. It's fine, copycat. Why would they play Null? Why would they play Null and Galactus? Of course they're playing Null and Galactus. Galactus blows everything up. Mr. London hot location is a bit awkward for this deck, I'm not gonna lie. Jeez. Oh! Makes me want to snap. Could engage a Titania roulette. Nah, we'll save Titania. Never lucky. It would have been an interesting game with double goose. <laughs> Can't even upgrade Sauron. What is this? So good. Yellow jacket into Necrotia makes zero sense. Unless it upgrades Hit Monkey on the final turn, then it's fine. So we're probably playing against Ramp. If it's Sandman, we'll have to run. In this case, Yellow jacket definitely makes sense. I feel like this is gonna be sad, man, but I really wanna stay in this. Electro? Okay, so I gotta empty my hand this turn. Titania middle is pretty chill. Zero Titania always works. Bishop's a bit weak here. Monkey grows to four. How do we spread out power? This would kind of make sense to maximize the Mirror Island buffs. And we gotta hope to still draw she hulk to contest middle effectively. This is a rough matchup, but because we like realize what which matchup we're in early i think we have a shot at this that sucks i think i might as well play the real mysterio middle here and i can still top deck ebony more or she hug Unfortunately, my deck tracker isn't working. I can't really. But I mean, we are 50% to draw one of the two. 
I'm a bit scared of Doom, I guess. Gargamel, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for the prime, appreciate it. Gargamel Zviboru. How's my Polish? so going doom here <sighs> fuck if i would have drawn she hike or abony more i would have stayed but i think we lose even if we draw one of them because our opponent goes doom here and the Krosha is a bit of a rough location and sandman's a bit of a rough, rough matchup i'm fine with how i played this i guess i could have retreated earlier on Polish is quite good as I hear. <laughs> I think my pronunciation is alright. Because my ancestors are from Siberia. So I, I kind of learned to roll the R and everything. And speak in a Slavic way. Rocks. I gotta admit though, I'm very glad to finally be able to use Sauron. Like I... Oh shit. New York, that makes it interesting. How much space do we need where? Like copying Sauron is a bit too wild, right? We can copy Lizard though. Or are you now? Warsaw. Oh, more junk controllers. Pretty sure we float. I could play Lizard this turn, float next turn, and then go Mysterio, she hulk hit monkey. But if we get junked a bit more, this is gonna be a rough one. It's the same player as earlier on. Ah yes, very fun play patterns. Get Viper, we lose. Am I a British? No, I am not British. I'm from Germany. Get out of my face, come on. Can I please not face junk control players? already play the lizard or do we go Sauron into Moon Girl to copy the lizard? I think we'd rather have a second hit monkey. I'm close to snapping this because we get some great copy targets with Moon Girl. But I like to know the matchup first and the third location. X uh, Mansion. Definitely snap before X Mansion pops. More Galactus, okay. That blows. Oh, 
Oh, we have Titania though. <laughs> we have Titania as a Galactus counter. That's actually lovely. He just needs to not get 25%ed. And we need priority. We're getting Doc Ock this turn, we just need one Titania to stay in our hand. Storm. Wind, aid my hand. This is a juke out, right? This has to be Galactus. Which other deck plays Daredevil, Electra, and Storm? I feel like this has to be a bad juke out. The issue is, do I even win if I don't put like, if I don't contest the flooded location? looks so stupid, but I think this is the best play. And it's not a great one. Oh, the storm completely caught me off guard. Otherwise, I would have easily won the left. I don't even know what my opponent's playing. Toxic motherfucker. Oh, the early snap was good, though. Cosmo! I actually love the Ryan Gonzalez art. Looks really nice. have Hella? No, the discard came from X-Mansion. There's no way they play Hella. Why did you retreat if you don't know what they were playing? Because, well, they were prob probably playing Galactus. Um, which means they still have some big top-end cards. They could play something like Spider-Man right side. And I can't win anymore. It was already turn 5. Galactus is very good in those situations. Like, the storm unexpectedly completely wrecked me. Always mute before matches in my muscle memory. No, I, I... I totally get it. I think it's a good habit. But I actually enjoy that. Like, I like letting people... Like, allowing people to make themselves look stupid. Because my snap was actually good, my opponent's snap was way too late. They didn't get any value of the snap. So they did a bad snap and then BM'd? It's perfect, I love it. Something to change Sinister? Nah. Ask your collection level, like... 5,500? Maybe close to 6,000 at this point. Imagine getting mentally affected by words. At this point, it's not even words, right? It's freaking... it's... Uh, it's emotes. really like getting the rock. We already have some board space issues. Definitely not snapping here because of Sinister London. Alright. Fuck. Fuck. 
And we're up against Shuri. I am not liking my chances here. Pretty sure this is a float. We save everything for one big double hit monkey combo turn. What's up, Spooter? Unspot. No Shuri in hand or what? At this point, I think my best play is float again. As silly as it looks. So my opponent's floating and then playing She-Hulk. Probably She-Hulk Taskmaster or some nonsense. Can I beat this? I'm, I have no idea how much power I'm putting out. You know what? Mats is for rich people, right? Let's just freestyle and see what happens. Oh, I'm so gifted. So good at this game. So... What's the play here? We go Bazing. Bablam. We gotta fill up the middle. Stereo goes here and here. This has to be it, right? It's guarantees. Does this work? One Mysterio goes here, then She Hulk gets copied here, Hit Monkey. The second Mysterio does not get copied. If I'm not mistaken, this is the optimal way to do it. Sure. Wait, we can beat this. I don't know how big the Hit Monkeys are gonna get, but the second one should be very large on the right side. Question is, do we have enough power middle? I think so, with Angela and Bishop growing. Oh, we, I think we win all three locations. Get that weak shit out of my face. Give me a real challenge next time, Shuri sure player. Okay, one tie. Ah, no, the real Mysteria. I forgot about you. GG's. That was satisfying. Okay, honestly, I don't hate it. I honestly don't hate it. This is the first time I look at a pixel and I don't want to throw up. It's my birthday. Yo, happy birthday. Snap handed me a morning full of throwbots. <laughs> Good mood. Let's go. Misclicked and bought this variant from the shop. Maybe it's Destiny. Could have been worse. Okay, definitely not playing Ebony more left. Lul. What's up with all... If this is junk control, I'm gonna lose my mind. Don't I save these in hand until after both bishops are in play? I think I'll have enough energy to play everything. This deck feels a lot like playing Miracle Rogue back in Hearthstone. Pass, 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 and then just do a million things in one turn.
you think about never collecting out for three cards so you always get extra tokens huh how, how does that work i'm not quite sure what you're asking Okay, what do we have for last turn? We are gonna play one, two, three, four. Okay, so I need to play one more card here. Zero, I guess. We got a ditch hit monkey, right? Just play our biggest stuff, and then we play double she hike. But we lose very hard to Hazmat, I think. Question is if they have Wong. So Hazmat would be minus eight in both of my locations, but I'm ahead by a lot. Precious, what do they have besides hazmat? I'm for sure gonna check this out. Wong hazmat, we're getting Rick Rolls here. It's fine. Close, good game though. Hey, lobster with a Thanos list to post when is the time you would snap. That depends entirely on the situation. The only right answer here is whenever you feel like you're about 70% ahead. Seventy percent plus. for Angela. Pretty good hand overall. This is scary. What? How do we even play this? You what's good, Cammy? Is this pre-recorded? Yes, absolutely pre-recorded. That's exactly why I can answer to your message right now. We can give Titania over to our opponent. The issue is like, we need to think how do we not get a lot of power into bar with no name. Or we just win middle and right, is that the play? We just play like bishop middle. Oh, my opponent's popping off. It's not gonna be easy to win the middle though against Mr. London. So we would play... What, like Sauron middle to free up Lizard maybe? Vote next turn and then go crazy. Not cool, yo.
We would need to get ridiculously lucky to win here. I want to try, but I, it might be very stupid. Like, it would be Titania into Mysterio, I think. Kind of them to not snap before Sandman reviews. Yeah, that's why, like, people are so bad at snapping in average, it's amazing. Like, so many boomer snaps. Sinister London location is surely showing up a lot. <laughs> Brother. Double Hulk smash. Okay. Wait, high key? We can copy blue marble? That's really strong. Hey, Blue Marvel is a 15 power card, is if all, like if all of our locations are completely full. Why would you play Typhoid Mary? Typhoid Mary is a minus one power card if all locations are completely full. Oh shit! Sorrow and Silence Blue. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a boomer sometimes. What do we even do? Moon Girl now, double lizard next turn into Hulk. I think we're very far behind. Enjoy your hulks. Also, this is the most telegraph play ever. My opponent's gonna know that we play Hulk on the final turn. But I don't want to accept losing to a completely random Typhoid Mary out of nowhere. Ay caramba, all their Trisca all their hikes are gonna cost like four. No, I really don't like my chances here. My I don't wanna play against the one cost Chang Chi. I feel like the day is not doing the deck justice because the hot location is much better for our opponents than it is for us. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What have I just done? Why did I play yellow jacket on turn one if I have bishop in hand? What? What's wrong with you, lobster? Are 
armor is sentinel? I am curious. Dino deck with armor, maybe? This into float. Oh, that's not good. Can't wait to get hit by another boomer snap here. Like my opponent had to snap before playing Moongirl. I will actually say it was a misplay to not snap. change anything my opponent's dropping a second dino on me. they even played the wrong dinosaur they gave us information that they like the that they have another dino in hand london is bad for bishop yeah the, this deck is not really favored by sinister london right now we're also just rolling london literally every game Yeah, this deck is playing on a handicap today. A lot of early game high power cards. TVA is very good for us. Oh, am I? Great. Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Bishop on the right side. Is Bishop even good here? We have very little space. It's one of the bigger cards I can play though. Oh, we're getting Galactus. Where's my Titania? Give me the good stuff! Shite. Okay, I think we'll just go for a very brave float here. Actually, you know what? Oh, the boomer snap. Breaking news. Magneto, so this could easily be rum. That was a pretty filthy scorpion. 
Okay. Don't really like Eternity range, but can't really commit more than to a Sorin into that location. Don't hate mining Vibranium, actually. But of course, there are a lot of other better cards to find. Bzz, bzz. It's a bit awkward mana curve wise. I think we want to play both Maw and Lizard here. Next turn, we would want to play Hit Monkey and then Magneto turn 6. Maybe we just do it. Maybe we just play more Lizard. The next turn is like Yellow Jacket Titania nonsense. Hmm. We do not mind the Cosmo. Yellow Jacket, double Titania, double Hit Monkey. Is that a thing? Both hit monkeys are 10. I like it. Gotta hope our opponent gets priority. Oh, both hit monkeys are 8, never mind. It's good enough, I think. I think we want to snap. Ah, uh, we'll get priority though, and that's annoying. I think we play this out without snapping. If it would look like our opponent gets priority here, then I'm snapping this. Can we contest this? This is 7, 11 power for us, and the dino probably shrinks. Question is, do we send Titania over? And I think the answer is yes. And hope that our opponent sends her back. Hit monkeys are at 7. If our opponent doesn't play middle, we still win. If they do play one card, we're good. If they play a bunch of cards middle, we're going to be screwed. Looks good though. Do we win the left? That's the question. It's probably a sentinel. I would assume our opponent wins left by like one. Oh? That was unexpectedly weak. Victory. GG's? Okay, I think in this situation, not snapping was great. Any snap would have scared off our opponent. We would have not gotten an extra cube. Okay, this, this quest, this mission is trolling me. Play five cost card. This deck, come on, let's be real here. A bandit. Good start. I'm scared about playing blindly because of Sinista London. That's wild. Never punished. I believe in the Sauron draw, we'll be fine.
Let's hit him with a snap. That was a sign. I can feel it. Nothing that could possibly go wrong anymore. Load and pop off with monkey next turn. Loading turn 4 is a bit awkward, but what can we do? Bounce? Okay, pass the monkey. 4 power monkey. Man, I needed the moon girl a little bit earlier. Oh, that sucks. If I moon girl now, I can still play yellow jacket, yellow jacket. More, more. Monkey, monkey. That's the play. 100% that's the play. Also, our opponent's gonna have priority. They can fuck right off with their Sarah. <laughs> they can't do nothing. The Killmonger ain't got nothing on us. Dark Hawk. Psh, sure. Okay, that actually sucks. We can't really play into Lechugilla. Or do we just give up the Darkhawk location? They're gonna move Darkhawk though, right? They're gonna free up Angela. I feel like my opponent is gonna overcommit to the left side here. If they overcommit to the left side, I should exploit it by just going batshit insane on the other two. This makes me enormously large. I'm just scared of my opponent also going enormously large on Washington DC. Because their Dark Hawk is gonna be humongous. This is all based on my opponent moving Darkhawk over. I just very much believe in it. Should one of the monkeys go right side? I don't think so. Do it! Fuck yes! What, you think your monkey middle is gonna be good? Oh shit, the monkey on the right side, that's scary. No! No! The rock! What the fuck? I just lost to a rock! This was almost genius! I just needed one monkey on the right side. Overcommitted here. I wouldn't have expected them to completely abandon the middle location. I guess it kind of makes sense. Just thinking that they win left and right. Ah, oh, one monkey on the right, and I would have looked so smart on television. Damn. And now I lost to a rock. completely spam titanias. I'd rather not. I was really thinking they would play the monkey in the middle though. Give me more lizards please. Just not moon girling here. Cloning Vats is our moon girl. It's top notch for Mysterio. Oh, 
Oh, next turn is Mysterio into Hitmonkey, right? Like Hitmonkey and cloning that, which is stack up, but that's fine. Too bad I wasted the slot here with Lizard. That I shouldn't have done that. What more Galactus? That's not good. Am I gonna get hit with a boomer snap here? Okay, where would my opponent play Galactus here? Middle or left? Probably left side, right? Clock, clock, egg. They have six energy already. Could be Doc Ock, I guess, but then no, it can't be Doc Ock because then they they're not ramping. Could be Doc Ock right side. I just need two Titania, so we start off with this, and then Doc Ock needs to not pull Titania. It is a Galactus, isn't it? Again, I almost look genius on television here. I got so close. Can't wait to get Spider-Man. Very much looking forward to it. The Boomer Snap. Good job for not winning cubes. combo pieces together. Uh, I don't mind the Sentinel. Does make our hand more expensive. It makes Hitmonkey slightly worse, but I think this is good. Wait, we played this one before. I think it was Junk Control. Let's see how weak their deck is gonna be if they can't do their nonsense. I feel like I should keep spaces open here. I could send Titania over to the right side, that would be interesting. Like I could kind of clog them with Titania. What it do, nephew? <laughs> ah, what do we do? I don't like this. Our hand is utter nonsense. What, full floats? Jesus. Can't wait to get hit by another boomer snap. Yeah, we got wrecked by Crimson Cosmos. Animated frame. Yellow jacket boosters are hard to come by these days. 
Tokens! Woo! I'm getting closer to buying Kitty Pride. Maybe I'll just save up for Jeff. Dude. Why not the dude? Are we going to draw Sauron again like good players? I think so. Double Wolverine. What the fuck is this? Pretty sure we're playing against like a Galactus or a Death Tech. They just got collapsed mine out of nowhere. This is not Galactus. That's also a pretty cool deck for the featured location, but it just loses to Venom. Uh, to, to, to Cosmo. Straight up loses to Cosmo. Okay. So if we full float, we have... Can't play Ebony Mon, it sucks. Ah, we have good stuff. This is gonna be fine. Definitely not snapping because our opponent probably has better combos than we do, but I wanna try this. I don't think he reads Twitch chat. I take that personally. I just can't keep up with all the messages without the content deteriorating. Okay, so they definitely have a, a death. The question is, do they also have a no? I feel like they do, right? Where else would they play death and no, uh, death and hit monkey this turn? Okay, they're clogged. Is this winnable? Just a measly 34 power to beat. Two, two. want to copy the big stuff over to the right side. We can't guarantee it though. We're playing five cards. Bishops are at six. We win the middle if I'm not mistaken. Six plus twelve plus like ten. No, plus eight. Six plus twelve plus eight. Yeah, we win middle. We need Hitmonkey and She-Hulk to go to the right side, most likely. Assuming they play no left. Could play the yellow jacket to the right. Ah, but left Angela buff. I agreed the Angela buff. It's fine. Oh, it's not a no. This is one of it. No, I actually want my stuff to go right. Uh, to go left instead. She hike right, hit monkey left. Let's go. She hike right. This was literally worst case scenario for us. Probably a misplay on my end though, the yellow jacket left. Although it's hard to say, it does give an Angela buff. I 
That's fine though. That was a decent game. We just go batshit bunkers on the raft? Sure. Let's do this. Gimme the hood! Gimme gimme! Man, I'm wasting way too many resources here and freaking Crimson Cosmos. I'm not liking this, but we can play the Raft card into Crimson Cosmos. But in this case, is this snappable? Could still be Galactus. I wait one more turn and see what we pull. Have you been having decent success with this deck? No, but it's good. Uh, Safety Blade hit infinite with it. The only reason I'm not having success is because I'm playing it. Um, on Sinister London Hot Location Day. This is so stupid. I really just got Arnim Zola. Double Arnim Zola, I guess. Anything else would have been so cracked with Moon Girl. Like anything high power, we just play two high power cards right side. Um, I'm pretty sure I snap here just to bluff my opponent. After the Moon Girl, I hit them with a Boomer Snap. This is an intentional Boomer Snap to try to make my opponent to leave. Okay, I need to keep She-Hulk expensive. So I play like Sorin Hit Monkey this turn. We don't lose to a single Shang, right? It would have to be Shang plus something. And that's not possible because of the energy limitation. Pretty sure this wins. With the She-Hulk top deck, I wish I would have snapped earlier. Like now I would not want to go for the Boomer snap anymore, but... Like this... Our bluff snap just turned into a value snap, to put it in poker terms. Because of the She-Hulk top deck. Always get Arnim Zola from Raft. I mean, often it's a good card, but not if one location is Wakanda and the other one is Crimson Cosmos and we can't put... Like, we can't get good cards into them. Okay. You know what the dumb thing is? We probably still lose to sh um, what's his face? What's he called? Uh, Shang Chi and their zero cost. Like my opponent should not have stayed in this. There's no way they should have stayed in this after I copied this with Moongra. But now I want to see this out, just out of curiosity. What the actual fuck? I'm pretty sure it's a mistake by our opponent to stay. They got rewarded for greed here. Because there are almost no pulls that we can have that don't beat Infinite. Well then again, they do win tiebreakers if we have an 8, an, uh, an eight power. And if this is not the real Mysterio. I guess they do have a, a slight chance. But it's not a very high one.
I'm pretty happy with my play though. Pretty sure that was well played. Um, Longfellow. Okay, we're probably not playing anything before turn three. Well, this we can play. Jacket just to buff hit monkey, yes, and an alternative zero target. You could play wasp instead, but on average, yellow jacket's gonna be a bit more power. Why would you voluntarily play Pixel Thor? Man, I don't understand people anymore. I think I've lost my face, faith in humanity. of good copies here. Mjolnir, to me. Suck. Mjolnir, to me. There was still a 12 power Jubilee. It's pretty insane. Yup, 12. Not 13, 12. Thank you, Jet Dejuru. So... This doesn't look too bad. can play what four cards on the final turn five cards two to the left hopefully not get blown up and then right in the that's rough okay what goes where we don't want to play mysterio here he takes up too much space it's lizard Always double copy She-Hulk. And I guess it has to be Titania. And then this is the only thing that makes sense. Yup. You can do this! Grow huge, my children! Yes! I think we got this. Oh, just barely edging this out. Nah, no, it's actually a fairly comfortable win. With the bishop growing. Of like 30 on the right side. Even if Magneto would have gone middle. I would have pulled the Moongara. It would have been a bit annoying, but we still would have copied the two she hikes. Still a win. GG's. They did not see it coming. How about no? <laughs> uh, actually, a good hand though. Bishop 3, Munger, uh, Soren 4, Munger 5. Or maybe I just skipped the bishop, to be honest. Uh, let's see if we can find a She Hulk. We cannot. And we shall not skip the bishop. I think we just ditched the Moon Girl idea. Although, Moon Girl is like really good. Sure. Polaris, Pol Polaris always makes me think Shuri. Okay, wait, how do we do this? 
We got hit by the boomer snap. This is I think this is just gonna be double Shuri, double Red Skull, fun. Yay. Okay, this was actually not a boomer snap though. This is a well-timed snap by my opponent, forget what I said. Um Because like, I should be running, and if I was tryharding, I would probably run. Now, not having seen the Shuri yet, I'm kind of talking myself into staying for the content, you know? Give them a bunch of nonsense in their hands. It was a bit of a boomer snap because if I run Chang in this deck, my opponent's Omega screwed. Although they have priority, they might have Cosmo armor in hand. Would have been really fun if we would not have been playing against Shuri. Like our hands go. Can't see the combo. What do you mean? There are like 10,000 different combos here. Play a lot of cheap stuff. And you have Bishop be benefiting from it, you have Angela benefiting from it, you have Hitmonkey mostly benefiting from it, you can copy your uh, She-Hulk and play two. Overkill. Our deck's already cheap. Five always. Depends if we have two she hikes or not. Or just one she hike. Depends on what we want to do. Uh, Patriot is not a great matchup for us because we have uh, zero interaction. So they're very broken stuff. Hitmonkey can maybe carry. I am Iron Man. Forget what I said. I am Iron Man. Oh wait, they're weak on the right side. Unless they play uh what's his face? They don't play Blue Marvel, they're weak on the right side. Can I get a hitmonkey please? We had hit monkey. This would be easy game. Play some for Sauron. In this deck, there is no replacement. You should just play a classic bounce deck. Um. Yeah, there's no shot we're going tall enough here. We have to win right and left side. Do we want to try. Not enough on the right. Escaped. Oh, Hit Monkey would have been so good. Just the Sinister London Hit Monkey would have carried us hard. She Hug would have probably been enough as well.
Okay, this is generally devastating for us. With the Baxter, maybe we have some playmaking potential. You can get 12 power in here fairly easily by just playing she hike on 5 and then saving our combo for turn 6. I'm saying 12 power because we need to win Baxter building as well. Oh, Yellow Jacket can also go in there. I'm not gonna get baited, but am I getting baited by the raft again? Okay, I kind of want to win the raft. Ah! Oh, Fuck it. Let's do it. What's the order? I don't think we want to play Sorin already. Interesting. We gotta float one energy here so that we can she hike in the middle. Good player pulls. Floating five energy. I'm wondering if they can make the read here that this is going to be infinite. Good thing is they're probably also taking priority here, I would assume. Which means we would be safe from Shang. If they have priority, we might be fucked. Because Infinite is the only play we can card we can play middle next turn. Well okay, I think you win the right side. But are you gonna win anything else, homie? What you got? What you got? Ha ha ha. Bring it on. Show me what you got. GG's. Okay, I can probably just make one, like, just do one or two more games. It's gonna be a short stream today because I'm getting a visit from my brother and a friend. We're currently on their way back from a vacation in Jordan. Went on a hiking trip. I checked out lore since the rotation. I have not. I mean, I'm somewhat interested in it. I just don't have time for it. This messes up my curve. Pretty sure I keep all my stuff for combo turns. Let's see what happens. Wait, we're playing against Backham? Is it just me or does Backham look a bit like a bot? Okay, we're starting to find all the combo pieces though. Just keep on floating, keep on floating. Munger is gonna copy hit monkey, is that Just go double hit monkey on the final turn. It's pretty good, eh?
So let's see. It would be Sauron into Moon Girl into zero more hit monkey, hit monkey. Yeah, that's very strong. Hello, can you snap? You're ahead in all three locations, what the fuck? When did bots get so conservative? Oh, the last turn is gonna be so sweet though. Thank you! That's what I was waiting for. That's the cue to pop off. This is gonna be a lot of bullets fired here. It's like a cross between Ape Escape and CSGO right now. <laughs> okay, it was a bot game, but I gotta end it here. Slow on time today. Uh, Twitch gang, I'll send you over somewhere. Let's see. Let's raid someone smaller this time. I want to send you over to Dan Makes Games. He's been saying hi once or twice before. Smaller streamers usually appreciate the raids more. They're more valuable to them. But let's say hi to Dan. Thanks everyone for swinging by. Um, like I said earlier on, I'm getting a visit from my brother and a friend, so the next few days I will not be streaming. I have two YouTube uploads ready. I'm gonna post one tomorrow and one the day after or two days after. And then at some point in the near future I should come like uh, get back to content, probably middle of the week or so I'll be back with streaming regularly. Have a lovely Easter vacation, holiday, whatever. Have a lovely Ramadan soon. Uh, take care. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.